My noble believing brothers and sisters, on this blessed day, Yom al I want every individual to ask himself, I want every individual to ask his or her inner soul, Mada Uridu Min Hadihil Hayati Dunya. What is it that I want from this worldly life? What is it that I'm seeking from the life of this world? A tawfiq awil khudlan. Am I seeking success or am I seeking failure? No, O noble ones, may Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala be generous to me and to all of you. If it is that you're seeking success, if it is that you're seeking tawfiq, then know that it is in the hands of Allah Jalla Jalalu. For indeed all affairs are in the hands of Allah the Mighty and the Magnificent. And no one is capable or has the ability to do anything without Allah Jalla Jalalu. Even for the blink of an eye. Allah Azza wa Jal, He informed us in His book, Ya ayyuhan nas, O mankind, antumul fuqara'u ilallah. All of you are poor and incapable before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahu huwa al ghaniyul hamid. And Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, He is self sufficient and He is praiseworthy. However, for a person to receive the tawfiq of Allah, then that individual has to start initiating himself. He has to start to push himself. He has to start fighting his inner soul, waging war against himself. And he has to start taking the proper means to receive the tawfiq, the success of Allah Azza wa Jal. As Allah he informed us in his book, Inna Allah la yughayiru ma bi qawmin hatta yughayiru ma bi anfusihim. And indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not change the condition of a people. He doesn't do what? He doesn't change the condition of a people. Whether it be from good to bad, as the ayah, the scholars of tafsir they mention, or the opposite. From bad to good. Allah Azza wa Jal contemplates upon this. He does not change the condition of a people until they themselves initiate that change, until they take the means to get that change within themselves. O noble ones, may Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala be good to all of us, contemplates. Upon the words of the Prophet Su'ib alayhi salam as he was inviting his people to Allah. He said, In Uridu illa al-islaha mastata'at. I desire nothing except to set things aright, to make things correct as much as I am capable. Then Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala he informed us upon his tongue, Wa ma tawfiki illa billah. And my success is only with Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. Alayhi tawakkaltu wa ilayhi unib. And in him, Allah, I put my trust. And to him I turn in repentance. Therefore, O noble ones, tawfiq, success is only in the hands of Allah. No matter what you do or how hard you strive in this world. With whatever capability and faculty that you have. With whatever wealth you have. With whatever strength you have, success is only in the hands of Allah, the Mahdi, and the Majestic. And success is not in our hands. Allah Azza wa Jal, He grants success, tawfiq, out of His bounty to whomsoever He pleases, whomsoever He chooses. And out of His justice, He forsakes whomsoever He wants. As for His tawfiq, O noble ones, then deeply contemplate on the statement of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Walakinna Allah habbaba ilaykumul iman. 
وزينه في قلوبكم وكره عليكم الكفر والفسوق والعصيان اولئك هم الراشدون الله has made what he has made faith iman beloved to you and he has not only made it beloved to you but he has beautified it in your hearts Allahu akbar Allah has beautified wa zayyanahu fi qulubikum the people of iman Allah azza wa jal has beautified faith iman in their hearts then Allah azza wa jal he continued wa qarriha ilaykum al kufra wal fusuq wal isyan and Allah has made hated to you the people of iman disbelief kufr and sins and transgression evil doings and disobedience ulaika humur rashidun then Allah he describes that these people here of iman then they are the ones that are rightly guided Allahu akbar may Allah make us from them and reflect on noble ones on the verse of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala balillahu yamunu alaykum but it is Allah azza wa jal who has bestowed a favor upon you understand this well O men in Islam, O noble brothers and sisters, Balillahu Yamunu Alaikum, but it is Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala who has bestowed a favor upon you. It wasn't because of you, it wasn't because of your intellect or your strength or your position or your age, your youth, or your status. Balillahu Yamunu Alaikum. But it is Allah Azza wa Jal who has bestowed a favor upon you. And Hada Kumlil Iman. That he directed you to Iman in Kuntum Sadiqeen. If it is that you are truthful in your claim of faith. And likewise contemplates on the verse of Allah, the Mahdi and the Majestic, when it is that he said, But it is Allah Azza wa Jal who purifies whomsoever he wills. Allah is the one who purifies us. Allah is the one who raises us. It is Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala who grants purity to whomsoever he wills. And contemplate on the statement of Allah the Mahdi and the Majestic. And contemplate on the statement of Allah the Mahdi and the Majestic when it is that he said, وَلَوْلَا فَضْلُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَتُهُ لَتَبَعْتُمُ السَّيْطَانَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا And had it not been for the bounty, the favor, the gifts of Allah upon you, the tawfiq of Allah, that which we should all be striving to get, the success of Allah, had it not been for his bounty, his tawfiq, his gift upon you, then surely all of you would have been what? You would have followed the shaitan. shaitan. All of you would have followed the shaitan. Illa qalila, except for a very few. And Allah Azza wa Jal, He informed us in another verse. وَلَوْلَا فَضْلُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَتُهُ مَا زَكَى مِنْكُمْ مِنْ أَحَدٍ أَبَدًا And had it not been for Allah's bounty and mercy upon you, not one of you would have attained purity. No one would have attained purity. وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يُزَكِّ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَاللَّهُ سَمِيُّنَ عَلِيمٌ But it is Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala who grants His tawfiq, His success, His purity, His direction to whomsoever He please. And indeed Allah Azza wa Jal, He is the all-hearing and the all-knowing. All these matters, O noble ones, and evidence describes the tawfiq of Allah. The success of Allah, which is a tremendous favor and blessing of Allah upon all of us. At that point, O oh noble ones, have you ever imagined, have you ever contemplated what it will be like if it is that Allah wa ta'ala forsakes all of us? I'm asking you brothers and sisters, did you ever stop to think what it will be like if it is that Allah forsakes all of us. This is why I want you to listen to what Allah Azza wa Jal informed us in his book. Inna ladina haqqat alayhim kalimatu rabbik la yu'minun. Surely those whom the word of your Lord tabaraka wa ta'ala has been fulfilled will not believe. Walau ja'athum kullu aya. Even if it is that they witness every single sign, they will not believe. This is the statement of our Creator, Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. And reflect upon his statement, Jalla Jalalu. Walau annana nazzalna ilayhimul malaika. Even if it is that we had sent upon them the angels. Wa kallamahumul mawta. Subhanallah al -azim. And the dead that were in the graves were to speak to them. Look at the similitude 
that Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala is striking for us. If it is that we send upon them all of the angels, and if it is that we can cause the dead in the graves who have witnessed what we have not yet witnessed, that they began their journey to the next life. وَكَلَّمَهُمُ الْمَوْتَ And had the dead spoken to them. وَحَشَرْنَ عَلَيْهِمْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ كُبُلًا And even if it is that we assemble before them everything. We put before them everything in front of their faces, face to face. مَا كَانُوا لِيُؤْمِنُوا They will still not believe. إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ Except those whom Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala wants to believe, meaning except those whom Allah Azza wa Jal has granted his tawfiq, Lakinna Aktharahum Yajhalun. However, most of them are ignorant. And Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala informed us in another verse. Wama Yuhinillah and whomsoever Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala humiliates, Famalahum Mukrimin. None can give that individual honor. Contemplates. If it is that Allah humiliates us, if it is that Allah forsakes us, then who is going to give us honor? Who is going to direct us? None can give him honor. And indeed Allah Azza wa Jal, He does whatever He wants. And similarly, O noble ones, reflect on the statement of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala in Tahris Allah Hudahum. Allah Azza wa Jal said to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even you, O Muhammad, if it is that you do what? That you are eager to show them the right path. Then know that Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, He does not direct the one whom He allows to go astray, who He leaves to go astray. And these individuals will have no helpers. And Allah Azza wa Jal, He informed us in another verse. أَفَمَنْ زُوِينَ لَهُ سُوءُ أَمَلِهِ as for the one whose evil deed, subhanAllah, has been made beautified for him. Think about that. Whose evil deeds, evil statements, sins, fornication, adultery, nakedness, cursing, oppression. The one whose evil deeds, to him, Allah has beautified it. May Allah save us from this matter. فَرَأَهُ hasana. He sees this evil deed to the extent as though it is a good deed. فَإِنَّ اللَّهُ يُدِلُّ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ Then it is He, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, who causes whomsoever He wants to go astray. And it is Allah Azza wa Jal who grants His tawfiq. O noble ones, reflect on the tremendous dua of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which is found in the Sunan of Abi Dawood. And Shaykh al-Albani rahimahullah ta'ala declared it to be authentic on the authority of Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala an. Da'watu al-makroob, the dua for the one that is distressed, that is in difficulty. Allahumma rahmatak arju, fala takilli ila nafsi tarfata ayn, wa slihli sha'ni kulla, la ilaha illa ant. O oh Allah, it is your mercy that I seek. Therefore, do not leave me to myself even for the blink of an eye. Do not leave me to myself even for the blink of an eye. Try it, O oh brothers and sisters. Blink your eyes. Do not leave me to myself even for the blink of an eye and rectify for me all of my affairs. For there is no deity worthy of being worshipped in truth besides you. Who is the one that is informing us Concerning this tremendous dua which we should supplicate with, Rahmatul Lil Alameen, the one that was merciful to all of humanity, the one that was described as the most truthful individual, a mercy to the creation. Reflect on this advice from the best teacher, reflect on this advice from the best role model, and a direction for all of us. Look at these explicit words. Therefore, O oh Allah, do not leave me to myself even for the blink of an eye. Many of us are fathers. Many of us have people under our care. What do we teach our children? What do we teach them? What do we nurture them? What do we nurture ourselves to be upon? 
self-success, self-dependence. I get up in the morning and it's me and me. Look at the best example, the one who was promised Jannah, the best human being to ever be created. فَلَا تَكِلْنِي إِلَى نَفْسِ تَرْفَةَ عَيْنِ Do not leave me to myself even for the blink of an eye. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم من البيان وذكر الحكيم أقول هذا القول واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله على فضله وإحسانه وأشكره على توفيقه وامتنانه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله O noble ones, may Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala be generous to me and to all of you. Know that if it is the slave is entrusted with his own affairs, he will be forsaken and deprived of good from Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, he said concerning the definition of a tawfiq, inna tawfiq huwa an la yakilaka Allah ila nafsik. Tawfiq, listen carefully. What is tawfiq? Tawfiq is when Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala doesn't entrust you with your own matters. This is success. When Allah Azza wa Jal, He doesn't leave you. He doesn't entrust you with your own matters. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, He taught us this supplication. فَلَا تَكِلْنِي إِلَىٰ نَفْسِ تَرْفَةَ عَيْنِ وَأَنَّ الْخُذْلَانِ هُوَ أَنْ يُجْلِيَ بَيْنَكْ وَبَيْنَ نَفْسِكْ and failure is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He entrusts you with your own matters. He leaves you to choose, to do your thing, as we say. But tawfiq is the opposite, that Allah doesn't leave you. Look, reflect. This is a point of reflection in the history of our Islam. Look back and let's see where it is that I was going wrong, but Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala did not entrust me with that matter. Then this is tawfiq. Allah did not allow me. Allah didn't give me the choice. I wanted this, but Allah made this right for me in the way that I could not have seen back then. But now, I see that this is success from Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. Know, O noble ones, that there are means for obtaining the tawfiq of Allah. So from them, al-niyatu saliha. The first is to have pure intentions. Al-latahi asasu al-amal. And this pure intention, it is the foundation for what? For all actions. And by it, all these are built and rectified. As the Prophet ﷺ, he said, بالنيات, الحديث, Indeed, actions are by intentions. And likewise, from the means by which a slave can attain the tawfiq of Allah is by making much dua, by supplicating, making Lots of dua in the times that are legislated for dua. This is one of the ways that the slave can get the tawfiq of Allah. As Allah, He informed us in His book, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّعِ إِذَا دَعَانٌ And when it is, my slaves ask you, O Muhammad, of me, then let them know that I am close. And I answer the call of the one who calls upon me. And know, O noble ones, may Allah be good to me and to all of you, that from the means by which a slave can earn the tawfiq of Allah, sidqu tawakuli ala Allahi jalla wa ala, is having true reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, true reliance upon the magnificent, the mighty, the Lord of the worlds, the Lord of the heavens and the earth. As we mentioned the statement of the Prophet Shu'aib alayhi salam, the ulama, they said concerning this ayah, concerning this dua of Su'ayb alayhi salam, that it is called hidayatul tawfiq. It is called the tawfiq of guidance. What is that dua? Or what is that statement with which Su'ayb alayhi salam, he said, وَمَا تَوْفِيكِ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ And my success is only by Allah. Allahi tawakkaltu wa ilayhi unib. And to him I put my reliance, and to him I turn in repentance. Similarly, O noble ones, from the means by which the slave can earn the tawfiq of Allah, Subhanallah al-Azim, Islahu nafs bil-ilm, is a person rectifying his soul with beneficial knowledge. 
with beneficial knowledge. Allahu Akbar. Islahu nas bil ilm is rectifying the soul through seeking beneficial knowledge. Alladhi huwa a'zamu abwaab ila tawfiq wa sa'adati fi dunya wal akhirah. And know that this is the greatest door towards earning the tawfiq of Allah. This is the greatest door towards earning the tawfiq of Allah. And likewise, happiness in this worldly life and the life of the hereafter. And that is because knowledge, ilm, it is glow and light upon the person who is seeking it, upon the one that is attaining it. How many times have we seen a student of knowledge or we've seen a scholar? Whether you've seen that person face to face or if you've seen that person on YouTube and you see the light on his face. This is hidayah to tawfiq. This is tawfiq, success from Allah. How? Because you find that these people, they're, they're loaded with knowledge. They are successful because they sought the knowledge of Allah's religion. They understand the manual for life. So Allah wa ta granted them tawfiq. And know that anyone who was afflicted in this area of tawfiq, the reason is because he is lacking knowledge of his Lord, Tabaraka wa ta'ala, and knowledge of his religion, the religion of Al-Islam, and knowledge of his noble messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Similarly, O noble ones, from the means by which an individual can earn the tawfiq of Allah, mulazimatu ahli salah wal istiqama wal bu'd an ahli sharri wal fasad. Is staying in the companionship of who? Listen carefully. No matter what area we grew up, no matter where we came from, tawfiq, success, if it is that you want it, from the means of attaining it, is accompanying the righteous people. Accompanying people that are righteous, Allahu Akbar, and the people that are upright, the people that are upon istiqama, and staying away from the people of evil. Subhanallah al -Azim. How? How can an individual expect to get the tawfiq of Allah? And when it is that we go back into our villages, we hang out with people that are selling drugs. Or we hang out with people that are cursing. Or we hang out with people that are abusing women. Using women, sleeping with women. Using the sisters. Fornicating and adultering and, and boasting about it. And yet, we sit with them. We hang with them. We eat with them. How is it that we can see someone wanting to destroy the Muslims, wanting to destroy Islam, wanting to destroy the community, and there is no effect upon your hearts that you will still sit with that individual. You would eat with that individual. You would hang out with that individual. How is it that we can get the tawfiq of Allah through these means? You're not able to differentiate right from wrong. You're not able to see. And this is the perfect definition of tawfiq. When it is that Allah leaves the affairs upon ourselves that we choose. We think we know what is right. No matter what Islam says, I know what is right. No matter what the sunnah says, this is right for me. No matter what revelation says, this is my way. This is how I was brought up. This is the path that I'm going to take. You don't care about Islam. You don't care about the sunnah. You don't care about direction. You don't care about tawfiq. All you care about is your desires. You don't care about your brothers upon the sunnah. That you sit with the evil people. The people of destruction. The people of fasad. The people of shar. And then you want the tawfiq of Allah. You want the tawfiq of Allah. So to receive the tawfiq of Allah, we must accompany the righteous. We must accompany them. And we must be with those that are upright. And we must stay away from the evil ones and those that cause corruption. Fear Allah, O slaves of Allah, wa salah.